El pasado fin de semana, Martin Garrix estuvo en la ciudad de Monterrey. La primera vez que visita México, Adriana. La primera vez que llega a Tierra Regias, mucha gente ya está desesperada porque inicia este evento y como siempre Vin91 te lleva a los mejores eventos. El DJ y productor creador de Animals nos puso a disfrutar de la noche, demostrando por qué es el cuarto mejor DJ del mundo. Vin91 estuvo platicando con el exitoso holandés. My favorite DJ when I was a child uh, is Chesto and he's still my favorite DJ and um The first DJ who started playing my song was called uh, Fato Gonzalez. He is really, really big in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, after that, I got some recognition by Sander van Dorn, uh, Spinning Records, and uh, I had my first release, Kijan, and that one started getting played by uh, by some really big names. I like it. I like I like uh, Deep House itself, Deep House myself a lot. I'm not gonna produce it. Um, Maybe some influences in one of my tracks, but I always stick to like the Martin Garrix sound, I think. But um, I don't know, I like it, and especially with guys like Chami, um, yeah, especially Chami, I really love him, okay. uh, love his sound. Oliver Helms too is doing really great, and I think it's interesting because right now you have like the deep house thing, you have like the EDM, like the percussion thing, which is getting like less attention. And what I want to do with my sound is guy like more melodic more yeah more right. instrumental yeah but also more emotion in the track oh. the tv show oh you have to ask this guy oh okay <laughs> no he's uh, a <laughs> he's recording right now um we are almost done with uh, episode two of uh, amsterdam dance event and i think this is for a third one or i don't know but the one from the amsterdam dance event will be online in like the next two weeks a lot of new music uh, a lot of interesting collaborations um i got a new track with matisse and sotko coming up um i got Uh, almost a new solo track finished and I got like three other solo ones which I'm working on um, I've been in the studio with Ed Sheeran we finished a song but it's probably going to be re released later next year because he has like label wise some uh, he has to put out some other records first but there's going to be a lot of brand new Martin Garrix music and especially also at like Ultra Miami I will play like a lot of new stuff wow. I will maybe even do an album because there's so much music coming up but it's, it's going to be fun and also show wise We're working on some really dope stuff, like uh, production-wise. It's, it's gonna be fun. I just released a track with um, Dylan Francis, and I've been in the studio with Chesto last week. Uh, we finished a record uh, for a very interesting commercial. I can't say, I can't get into details yet, but um, we made a really cool track, which is gonna be used in the US in a TV commercial. And um, yeah, I'm mostly working on solo stuff, so it's. Uh, I know some songs, but I'm not. I'm probably not gonna play them in my set. <laughs> but I, uh, I've practiced my Spanish, uh, uh, so I can, uh, I can uh, talk but, a little bit. But you can say in Spanish. Uh, Viva Mexico, cabrones! <laughs> <laughs> It's typical for Mexicans. Yeah. Um, yeah, like hola, gracias, uh, like the basic stuff. Beat 91 en los mejores eventos.